So, yeah, we're here with a new World War II game. It's called Velvet Assassin. And you might be saying, why are we on the main menu? Usually when you do LPs, you start right into the, um, the opening cutscene. Well, because I have some stuff to show you. This is not a very good game. Why? There's no mouse control on the main menu. Like, here, I'm moving the mouse around, right? I don't know if you can hear it. You have to control the main menu with the arrow keys. This game is from 2009. 2009. Also, it loaded up in like a 4x3 resolution. Oh, and here's something. The graphic options are not in the game. They're, they're in a little launcher. And they're so inconsistent. Like, anti-aliasing was 1 times, 2 times, 3 times maximum. Like, not like trilinear, bilinear, antiscopic. No, 1, 2, 3 maximum. So the company that made this made three games and went bankrupt. They like went bankrupt like almost in, like basically a couple months after they made this. So here's something else. We go down to options, enter, controls. Okay. Gamepad. I cannot deselect, go back to keyboard mouse and keyboard with the keyboard now like I have to use a controller and look at the buttons look the the um a B or X and B aren't even centered think about that I haven't played any I don't know why the resume campaigns selected or um lit lit up but yeah 2009 this game came out really two difficulty options easy and hard all right we're playing it on easy I long to be back in the war. That was my true home. We were inhuman beings. Butchers on a field full of corpses. Corrupt and depraved. Only some of this are our blood and bone. Creatures without souls. The load screen just went down to 5 FPS. That's not good. I'm gonna not record on the load screens. Alright. Hopefully you can hear me. Oh, another cutscene. I was flown back to France to blow up a gigantic fuel depot, which the Germans had built in a bunker on the Maginot Line.
Reich was running out of oil. They guarded every barrel like the crown jewels. The main entrance was secured like the fear's bunker. Fortunately, every rat's nest has a second entrance. I had to try and find it. I jumped over a wooded area that bordered on the rear of the complex. Unfortunately, my equipment was stuck at the top of a blasted tree during the landing. To make matters worse, I saw that the area was guarded by Bathman SS troops. Those units had one basic rule. Take no prisoners. Exactly like me. Alright then. We're some spy lady. Oh, that walking animation. Oh, no. Okay, let's recenter the camera. Her mouth doesn't move. Flashlight. Let's. Whoa. Okay then. What is Crouch? Oh! Crouch is hold RB. Doesn't look that bad. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna see if you can hear me. Okay, everything seems to be fine. But I wanna show you something else in the menu. A, B, no, wait, audio, look, the controls randomly switch from X being confirmed to A being confirmed, oh, you see your character, you have no, okay, a flashlight and a combat knife, all right, with DICE's game, Battlefield 5, you know, having, um, a particular thing that it, whoa, that offends people? I thought we'd play this, because I'm pretty sure DICE played this, or looked at this. So maybe not. Oh, do you see that? It's a oh, it is a load screen. I could easily take the soldier out of the way. I only had to be careful creeping up on him. RB to sneak. Why? And it's hold. Where do you want me to put this? I don't know. Let's put him there. Ah! He didn't have a gun? This feels like a PS2 game. Like, the company was really good at make like... Maybe not really good at making PS2 games. Maybe they previously made PS2 games before they made this company. But it feels like a PS2 game that they just like went crazy with the... You know, tried making it look as good as possible. Because it does look good. So, you know, like all the press A to do stuff. Oh. 
I mean, it's playing at a consistent 60, so that's good. At least I know it's not on Unreal. At least I don't think it is. Because if it was on Unreal, like Unreal and Fraps, my recording software I use for PC, they do not get along. See the Lawbreakers videos and the constant FPS drops. Or Painkiller, Hell on Damnation. <laughs> That's not his heart. Or, not really his heart. There. Do I get his gun? I'll stab you. Okay. This is like Resident Evil 4 controls. You know, enter aim mode. You know, where you walk slowly. But look, yeah, this is like a World War II RE4. Look. Right? Or R RE4, RE5 style. Until they separated. Is there... Okay, when I press crouch, I don't want to hold it. Can I change that? Sneak. I mood. Who made these controls? Jesus. if it's just the effects but this game does look good like i think it like just overly using lighting effects which it looks nice different kill animations every time. Look, now he saw me, right? Because I couldn't crouch in time whenever I got him behind here. Oh, this is going to be a rough game. I had to wait until they separated. I did. And then they saw me anyway. Comes a helicopter, Jesus. <laughs> no, look, he saw me again. Oh. 
Aha! I did it this time. No, give me his MP40. He clearly had MP40. Whoa, what's going on with his body? his mp40 there's clearly an aim mode so that means you get a gun but yet i can't take their gun okay then do i regenerate health doesn't look like it Prompts to do everything. Oh, I hear a German. He's over there. Oh, had a weird frame drop. Went down to fifty. So why is there bunk like this base made of entirely sheet metal? <laughs> I mean, I have to say the texture on her jacket looks very good. She has a, um, a holster for a gun. Oh. But where's a gun? <laughs> they see me. I didn't have to hold crouch. This would be so much better. I don't know how to get over there. I'm not around here. Can I go up in that guard tower? No, there's... no. Uh-oh. Well, oh, I'm dead. Come at me. Is it coming? Whoa. Know what to do, sort of. This game's gonna be a lot of trial and error. I don't play stealth games. I bought this game on the Steam summer sale because it was incredibly cheap. I think it was 90% off. Did you skip this? Okay. Whoa, what the? I could use the morphine here to increase my chances. 
What the? What? Morphine gives her superpowers? I need more morphine. Okay. I, st okay, I sort of understand what to do. I gotta use the morphine. Morphine gives her a drug-induced time freeze and puts her in... What? Morphine I could use the morphine here to increase my chances. Alright, but I don't understand where I have to get. That's the problem. You can try to hide. Oh, I think I understand what to do. Yeah, that guy up there didn't hear that. Oh my god, is it dark? Well, wow, that was a sudden, abrupt end of that level. I think I'm gonna end it here. Well, start of the next mission. This is a strange game. I don't know what to make of it. The, um, control... The first step was done. I was finally in the bunker. The fuel depot was certain to be in the lowest level to protect it from bombing raids. The mishap with my lost equipment would not stop me, but without explosive charges, the situation was hopeless. But the Germans were sure to have explosives stored somewhere in the bunker. Soon they would see what they were good for. A German fuel depot and an explosive charge sounded like a very promising combination. The problem was I had to be back outside before this rendezvous developed chemistry. Oh, your health doesn't get reset. Well, I'm gonna end it here. So, yeah. See you next time. This is a weird game. Don't really know what to make of it so far. It's kind of fourth stealth. I bought it because it was cheap. Just know that. <laughs>